Hello and welcome to Economic Week Ahead, brought to you by Business Day in partnership with the Movement Studio. My name is Zainab Aderomu, and today I have here with me Wasiu Ali. You know, very interesting data and reports are to be expected this week, starting today with the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics releasing the Labor Force Report, which measures the share of the country's working population that are in the labor force. The Labor Force Report last year said that um, the unemployment rate raised to 5.0%. Wasi, what do you expect this week with the Labor Force Report? Well, the Labor Force Report um, shows um, previous for the previous quarter of 2023, um, Q3, the Labor Force showed that en the unemployment rate in Nigeria rose to 5.0%, up, up from 4.2% it was in the previous quarter. And what does this mean? It means that people are, you know, becoming unemployed in Nigeria. And of course, um, for Q1, we're expecting that the on the unemployment rate should also rise marginally because um, quite a number of things are happening, especially in the informal employment, the also economy. The, um, the informal employment are witnessing a tough time on the back of the FX crisis and um, the electricity tariff. And, you know, the now the MPC had has, has increased the lending rates, which will, you know, which will limit the, uh, the, the, the credit facility, this businesses, this also economic yeah, businesses are able will be to able access, to. Definitely. Yeah, so of course, if some of them cannot meet up with this challenging moment, they will have to leave businesses. And of course, a lot of people would be out of job. And so we expect that the unemployment rate will, you know, rise marginally. Yeah, so we don't, I don't have a figure because I'm not an <laughs> expert yet. Yeah. So, so we're expecting that um, a significant rising will, you know, will surface. And um, of course, um, uh, away from the labor reports. Yeah, speaking of challenging times, we also um, look forward to the company income tax reports to be released by the NBS on Wednesday. And you know, the company income tax, also known as corporate levy, is a source of revenue for the government. And analysts have speculated, you know, they have mm. projected that there would also be a decline in the company income tax owing to the FX volatility and the decline in the, in the um, downline of so many companies in um, the first quarter of 2024. What do you think about you that? You know, I, I'm not really surprised because the FX crisis, you know, is hitting every sector of the economy. Of the economy. And of course, it will affect their income, it will affect how they remit taxes to the government. And of course, if you look at Nigeria's tax to GDP ratio, it's quite low. And so what we need to do now is to for the government to fight to ensure that there's a little bit of stability in the currency because without the stability investors will not be interested in coming to the country so it has a lot of ripple effects if um, we continue to have fs crisis and so uh, i think in that report manufacturing sector had, yeah, had the, the largest contribution, contribution to company to income tax in the fourth quarter of 2023 and so let's know, see. It, that has been the trend from yeah. the first quarter of 2023 to the fourth quarter and you know expectedly it should possibly be the trend as well in the, in the in first this, quarter in this of report. 2024 so when, when should we be expecting, expecting this report on wednesday on wednesday so our viewers should um, you know expect look forward to seeing this report it's quite imp interesting that uh manufacturing the manufacturing sector despite the challenges that they are facing they are still the highest contributor to the income tax uh okay um sorry Yes, you know, when we talk about South Africa, I just thought sometimes wish that there could be that magical wand over Nigeria as well. You know, the South Africa Reserve Bank, they're likely to hold or cut their rates, you know, the NPR rates at the um, meeting to be held on Thursday. So what do you, what's, what's going to be the likely, is it going, are they going to hold the rates or, you know? Well, uh, the South Africa Reserve Bank, uh, just like what we have our central bank of nigeria here will be holding its monetary policy committee meeting on thursday and this meeting of course um it's an avenue for them to look at how well they can move the economy through monetary deploying the necessary monetary tools and one of the uh, the interesting thing about south africa is that inflation is cooling mm. for the second month in a row it decelerated from 5.3% 5, 
3% in March to 5.1% in April. And so since inflation is cooling, the local currency, the RAND, the South African currency is um, strengthening against all other world currencies. So um, analysts are holding, uh, are expecting that the, the MPC will likely cut rate by 25 basis points. The, the South Africa's MPR currently stood, it stands at 8.25%. So if they will be cutting the rate, then the rate will have to go to 8, 8%. And so um, the, the ironical part is that while certain banks in other countries, oh, just like Nigeria, their rates, especially are especially in rates. Nigeria, yeah. Some some countries are some countries like South Africa. Yeah, but they're, they're increasing are, their rates. They are, I mean, um, cutting their rates because inflation is decelerating. But inflation has not decelerated in Nigeria, so you it, can't expect that we cut rates when we have you know, not one of, achieved one of what the things, we're trying to achieve. Yeah, of course. Uh, one of uh, that's that's very correct. But one of the things that is making South Africa uh, gain this kind of um, say uh, miracle, so to say, is that the the government. You know the fiscal authority are complementing the efforts oh, of the, 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 the South Africa Reserve Bank, and so it's not just a one-way thing. Mm. So the two sides, just like what we have, but you know, in in, in, in variance to what is happening in Nigeria, Nigeria CBN is hiking price, mopping up liquidity. I mean, doing all sort of things, deploying all sort of monetary tools to see that the Naira strengthens. The but but the fiscal authority are not complementing it. So we expect that um, um, the SAR will be cut rates by 25 basis points. So and you know, on Friday, we expect the selected banking sector data to be released. And this, this is very interesting because there's going to be data on the total amount of credit allocated to different sectors in the yeah. um, country, as well as the um, staff you know, of the banks in the banking industry. And um, analysts expect that credits that have been allocated to sectors in different sectors of the economy will be reduced off this same NPR rates that we've been talking about. You know, the interest rate has been hiked. So it means that many companies, many sectors in, of the economy would have less access to credit, credit in the facility. economy. Yeah. You know, um, the last the last time um, I spoke with someone, I was, you know, projecting that the CBN would have to jack up its interest rate by about 200 basis points. But um, because of some certain reasons, it, it was <laughs> about 150 basis points. That, that makes it a total 750 basis points within a year. That's a lot. And so this would have um, a great consequence on the real economy. And of course, we are just hoping that by, I think, July, where the MPC will be meeting again, we're hoping that they are just going to hold it steady. And we are hoping that inflation will start descending. To decelerate, hopefully. Yeah, by hopefully. Then. So let's talk about the Naira. The Naira has been fluctuating. You know, you saw the dance. It has literally been fluctuating. Um, on Friday, it held at about 1,482 Naira in the um, official market but at the black market it was 1500 naira so what do you think now that cbn has hiked the npr rate by a total of 750 basis points what's going to be the fate of the naira, naira. well um the naira you know usually you know uh, usually after the mpc's decision naira is expected to strengthen against the dollar because investors will find the currency attractive and they will be able to, you know, bring in their dollars. You know, when we have more investment coming in and we have high productivity, then of course the Naira will strengthen. So we are hoping, we are expecting that, yeah, following the recent um, 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 NPR rate, you know, by a total seven of 50 basis points, now, the NPR rate is at 26.25%, the highest ever recorded in the country. And so, with this development, we're hoping that the Naira will strengthen against the dollar. And maybe not as, you know, what it was about 30 weeks or four weeks ago, which we, we saw it at 1,000 Naira. Yeah, and it became yeah. like the wor um, the best performing currency. And I wanted to say worst because now it's like the it's worst. The worst. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst performing so currency. So, the, the, the Naira could not, you know... Um, cannot sustain that momentum so that will, it is flipped 
from the best currency in the world to you know to now the worst currency in the world. So analysts are projecting that the naira would moderate on the back of the recent MPR rate, and of course. Um, yeah. yeah, we are hoping that foreign investors will flow in, mm-hmm. and if foreign investments are trickling in, of course, the naira will strengthen. So, what do you see the naira uh, at this week? Do you see it going to as low as a thousand naira as we saw it? Well, so- I would say that a thousand naira is, you know, it's very positive considering we saw it happen and all of a sudden it just disappeared. But the CBN has a number of strategies that they are deploying to. Um, stabilize and you know put some structure especially in the black in the um, unofficial market in the black market and so it means that if there's more confidence if there's less speculation yeah. of um, of the naira you know less speculative nature of the market then definitely there should be a moderation will i say 1000 naira or 1100 was that was that the rate you yeah yeah, yeah. That, was, that was that was the rate that was then. the rate it was at you know, once between twice shy. <laughs> once between twice shy. So maybe not 1,100, but it definitely should moderate. Yeah, so let's say, say moderate around 1,400. Mm, yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, analysts have also said that that, is, that seems to be the rate at which the Naira can, you know, effectively stabilize. That's like what it can hold sustainably. Yeah, yeah so let's just hope that the Naira stables this week so that... Um, Many many people who are you know who are in need of the uh, the foreign the dollar will not have to struggle you know to 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 get it. All right, so um, I think that's that's that will just be it um, for today. Uh, so for more in-depth analysis on our stories, you can log on to our website at www.businessday.ng and um, visit all of our social media platform at businessday.ng. My name still remains Wasiu Ali. I'm Zainab Aderamu. See you next week. Bye. For more in-depth analysis, please read up on our website at www.businessday.ng.